Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today we're gonna get technical and I'm gonna show you how you can see who's looking at your site, how they're finding you and other juicy pieces of data. And to do this, I'll be using the Google Site Kit for WordPress. Now, the key thing to know is that you need to host your site somewhere for it to be visible online, and that's why I'm using Hostinger. It's easy to use for many reasons, but one of the great things about their website setup process is that you get to download the Google Site Kit ahead of time along with other plugins, so you'll immediately have it set up. However, for those of you using other providers to host your site, you might not have this option. So all you have to do is head over to the plugins tab on your WordPress dashboard, click on add new, search site kits, and then download that sucker. And if you want to try out hosting her for yourself, though, you can use our coupon site starters from the description for 10% off. Once you've downloaded it, you go to the top left hand side and find the Google site kit right here. And you have to just connect your Google account with your website. So you just check mark this box right here. You can check mark this one if you want, but clearly just sign in with Google and verify that this is your site that you're applying from. And the next thing that you need to do is allow for them to track the metrics on your dashboard and similarly for them to see where people are searching you from. And lastly, from these four steps, you just set up Google Analytics for them to integrate this onto your website. Afterwards, it's gonna take you to this site where you just create a Google Analytics account that you connect to your regular Google accounts. And so you go through that process, make sure that you're okay with that. And afterwards, it's gonna ask you again by allowing you to accept their terms of service as well as the other stipulations that they include then hit accept down here and finally go to the dashboard to conclude with the whole setup process now let's take a brief look at some of the data you can come across here so just fyi my site isn't live so there's no data to draw from but that doesn't mean we can't look at the three metrics of traffic content and speed uh, when we talk about traffic metrics we're essentially looking at how many people are coming to your site what they're doing here and how long they're sticking around and when you get what these numbers mean you can figure out where your visitors are coming from. Are they finding you on Google or maybe through social media? You can also see which pages they really like and if there's anything on your site that's making them leave. This helps you make changes to your website and how you promote it so you can get more people to come and stick around. Moreover, content metrics give you insight on how well your website's content is performing. It's easier to define these because they just include top performing pages, popular search terms, and which devices they're finding you from. With this info, you can tell what stuff your audience really enjoys, what topics are popular right now, and how people are finding your website, basically giving you an idea of what to push on your sites. And lastly is probably the most important as speed determines how functional and efficient your site is. You might also be slowing your site down by using too many pictures or videos and things of that nature. And SiteKit will also give you info like load time and server response time, as well as opportunities for improvement by giving suggestions on how to make your site faster, like optimizing images or reducing unnecessary code. In a nutshell, these metrics give you a deeper understanding of how people are interacting with your website, which is essential for fine tuning your content, marketing strategies, and well, overall user experience. And that's pretty much all you need to know about Google Analytics. The setup is simple for SiteKit and you can get so much information out of it. If you have any further questions though, don't hesitate to ask away in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, consider subbing and liking it to show your support. Again, if you want to try out Hostinger, you can always use that Site Starters coupon code to get 10% off in addition to their site-wide discounts. I also have a full hour-long WordPress site building tutorial if you need help with that, covering everything under the sun, and I will also have that linked in the description below. As for this video, that is all from me, but until next time, take it easy.